Hi everybody, it's Jay, with a new mobile game review from Mob.org. Let's go! Today, we have a fighting game. And not just a run-of-the-mill fighting game made by an unknown person with characters you've never heard of before, but this is a creation from the authors of Mortal Kombat, NetherRealm Studios. You might just recognize the heroes here too, at least some of them. Welcome Injustice Gods Among Us, with heroes from the DC Comics universe. I think they should have called the game something completely different, by the way. Why not Immortal Kombat? Or better yet, Mortal Kombat Man! Yeah, that sounds way cooler. And frankly speaking, our patient today isn't really a full-fledged fighting game in the traditional sense. A true fighting game is when you can do combos and power attacks and finishing moves, stuff like that. But let's get to that later. Plot. Nah, there is no plot. Someone is free to point out that in such games, a plot isn't really that necessary anyway. But at least in the last Mortal Kombat game, there was somewhat of a plot. Since this game was done by the same guys, the absence of a worthy storyline is them just being lazy. But at least visually, this game aims to please. Starting with the menu and the interface and finishing up with the nicely rendered models of the characters, everything is traced quite beautifully and stylishly. Even Flash, whose suit I consider to be almost as idiotic as Superman's, still looks decent. The fight animation is also quite convincing. Blows are realistic, and the heroes move like they should. So that's cool. Dangerously so, even. Actually, the gameplay is in battles of three versus three. Three of your dudes have to fight with three enemies. That can be quite simple sometimes, but on other times, you will get your ass kicked. Enemies are, naturally, the further you go in the game, the stronger they get, and soon you won't be able to beat them just like that. It will be necessary to combine your hero's powers and abilities somehow, taking into consideration their strengths and weaknesses. By the way, there is a certain pumping up of the characters, as their characteristics can be improved upon. And about the control system. Actually, Injustice doesn't deserve to be called a fighting game. Here everything is simplified to the point of a disgrace. In fact, there are only two types of blows, fast taps and swipes in the necessary direction. And you block by using two fingers. And that's all. So I guess it is both good and bad. Why does bad is clear? Because it's just too simplistic. It is good because you can take pleasure in the fight without worrying about complex controls in the way. I suppose I'm a little torn, but there you have it. So the game's minuses. There is no plot to give a good reason behind why these guys are fighting each other, and the control system is way too cut down to the bare minimums. Anyway, the game is free to play, but it does suggest for you to donate to it quite persistently. Pluses, everything is very beautiful and dynamic. The atmosphere and the animation tighten around you and make you forget that in general there's nothing else to this game except them here. Such is our game. That's all for today. If you like this review, follow our channel. There's new stuff added there all the time. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you!